Hey Blockheads, let's take a minute to talk about the different materials we'll have in ropes. At the basic bottom end, we've got nylon. This is the stretchiest rope we're going to use. That's why we really only use it for places where we want stretch, things like dock lines. It's also not the strongest. A step up from that is polyester. This is significantly better than nylon in terms of both strength and stretch. And this is kind of your basic vanilla ice cream kind of line. Every boat has this on it somewhere. A step up from that and what we use almost exclusively for our racing boats is a material called Dyneema. This is about twice as strong as the same diameter polyester. It's also significantly less stretch. It's also a great material because it's really tough and lightweight, so it's great for racing boats. Here's a couple quick tips on how to identify these different materials on a boat. Nylon is actually stretchy enough that if you take a piece like that, you can actually feel the stretch. If you compare it to polyester, you'll see there's a lot less movement. One fun f thing that polyester does that you can identify it on a boat is that polyester, if you melt it, you'll get what we call the butane backsplice, where it'll curdle and stick together. If you try the same thing with Dyneema, you'll find that it'll melt a bit, but it doesn't stick together like polyester does. If we're ever trying to identify a mystery rope, we'll actually use flame like that to, to tell the difference between poly and Dyneema. So let's take a minute to talk about different types of rope construction. The most traditional and basic is what's called a laid rope, and, where, and that's where strands are kind of laid across each other, and that's what our three strand is. The downside of this is that as you pull on the rope, or as it, as it loads, it's going to want to twist open and stretch. Superior to that in terms of strength and stretch is a braided rope. This is where instead of the ropes kind of wrapping around each other, they're interleaved like that. And this is superior because it doesn't want to twist as it loads, and it's also lower stretch because you can have the fibers and strands are more in parallel to each other and in line. Another thing to know about rope construction is single braids and double braids. Obviously these are both braided lines. This is a single braid and it's where there's one, one layer of rope. And this is, uh, this is what our Dyneema line is. It's very strong and low stretch, but if you wanted to handle it or hold it in your cleat, you would definitely want to cover because it's very slippery and it's very small. So we also have a rope that's got a Dyneema core, but then it's got this polyester cover over the top of it. This is the part that's nice to hold, that'll hold in your clutches, and lets you handle this really high-tech, high-load rope. Thanks for watching, Blockheads.